Mestre at courtside. So after LPU scored 24 points in the second oh, quarter, quarter, the Pirates unleashed a whopping 31 points in the third period and are now up 71 to 50 to start this period. Hindi nakagawa ng paraan ang San Sebastian dun sa mga fast break attacks. Reds Villegas, 22 points, back to back, 22 oh, point yeah. games. Makatok, 23, no? Career high? Yep. For confirmation. So, back to back games now, 22. Come on, Reds, go for it. He will. I wonder if there's somebody on the team who knows of these things. Dapat. Baka yan, si Sir Alan. <laughs> Yung uh, kanilang uh, team rep. And then you're lagging uh, isa mga punong kabala. Villegas is just playing with a ton of confidence right now. Dailek for three. Felebrico with a board. Remember though, San Sebastian ended the first round meeting with a 12 to nothing run. Do they have another run in them? That is the question. Montaño gives it to Rents. Rents calls out the play. Rents. Montaño hands it off to Simon. Simon says, shoot a three. Nabitawan nga lang ni Montaño bola. Babalik ito sa San Sebastian. John Barba, Greg Cunanan, and Juan Guaranya. So with this triple right here, Rens Villegas scores 22 points. Back-to-back -back games of him scoring 22. Double deuce. Oh, Gabbard! Knocking down a three, but he lands on the foot of Panelo. And he is writhing in pain. So this is going to be a landing spot review. Here's Panelo with the challenge. Gabat will rise for the three. Mm -hmm. naglabas agad ng wheelchair. Oh, he just gave a thumbs up. He is tough. And there's a great show of sportsmanship there. Rex Gabat. Oh, di naman sadya yung uh, landing spot. Tingnan natin kung... Uh tatawagan to ng ons po kasi naka-challenge tapos syempre meron ka ring kailangan bibigyan mo ng landing spot yung defender tsaka landing spot yung shooter if the shooter kicks forward might be a different call might be a uh, yan intindan natin hindi tinatawagan yung reaction ng players to the action it's about the contact pero doon clearly parang yung paa nasa ilalim we shall see ano ang uh, maganda makita ulit yan on a different angle kasi yun yung isa sa mga klarong angle eh. sa angle na natin parang gilid lang yun ang paa yan tignan natin ha? kasi ito clearly na yung paa ni Panelo will be ending din no? on the challenge and that's an unsportsmanlike foul A fine review there was at, at Sports Among Life Now, criteria one on number 14, John Panello. For contact with an opponent and not legitimately attempting to directly play the ball. Mandatory substitution, Mix Pasquale for Rex Gabat. So, Rex Gabat. 
taken out of the game to have his ankle check on Migs Pascual who shoot these technical free throws. And Panelo exits as he heads to the bench first. First free throw is good for Migs. Two for two. Alright, makibalita muna tayo kay Bianca Alejandre. Despite the lead in hand, the Pirates know that success is not yet contained till the final buzzer brings them there. Now they aim to reassemble under the leadership of Coach Gilbert as he reminds them to continue with forward passes, work on aggressive defense, and penetrate. Now the measure of their team lies in their ability to adapt and overcome. They have seen similar obstacles in the past, but let's see if their collective energy would prove sufficient to close the game. All for now, Anton and Coach Hammer. Energy. That's what this game has been all about. And it's LPU showing way more energy. And that is why they are up big on both ends of the court. Full of energy. Full head of steam. Perhaps too much as it results in a turnover. Aguilar. Aguilar to Gabat. Gabat for three, short, and Guadagna rises for the rebound. Yep, climbing the ladder for that the rebound of Maclod Guadagna. Bonana. Barba. Montano. Back to Ato. And Ato is able to draw foul. On the post up, James Maliwat was the guy. But Maliwat steadied it on the guard. Last game he uh, he played really well. As a rotation piece, piece. Nung uh, wala sa paeng are. Seventy-four fifty-seven. Montano, good patience. Oh! Nineka-amo yan. Line drive. Short. Pelebrico. Aguilar for three. With it. Oh, Greg Bonana. On the floor. Apparently hit. Below the belt. So we have a report here from Bianca Alejandre saying that Gabat's okay, no injury, and he's ready to return if ever. So that's uh, Rex Gabat. John Versosa. Versosa is going to come back to our TJ. Good in ball play. Caught the defense snapping. And a great pass in, ah, para kay uh, Mix Pascual of that inbound. Oh, good steal. Pascual. With that unorthodox release. Tano naman tayo. Paunti-unti. Paunti-unti. Pinapagod yung kalaban. Tignan natin kung may magic pa. Ito, binalik na ni Coach Gilbert si Renz Villegas. Finishing touches na kailangan dito. Haba pa nito, Anton. 6 minutes 20. Bola ng LPU. Yung ang double digit na under 2 minutes, nagawa ng paraan. Gusto mo lang dito kung ikaw San Sebastian, madala mo na agad sa penalty itong LPU. Tapos, idikit mo ng idikit yung laban yan, makakuha ka ng mga stops and you force the tempo. Aguilar. Like a wrecking ball. There you go. Coming in hot. San Sebastian making a run.
Now that we are officially in the second round of the men's basketball tournament in NCAA Season 100, let's take a quick look back at the games that shaped the first part of October here in our Week in Review. So, last October 1, the Benil Blazers survived a surprise attack by San Sebastian San Sebastian trying to duplicate what they did in the first round as they stole the game away from LPU, finishing the contest on a 12 to nothing run. Can they do it again? As Coach Hammer always says, that remains to be seen. Remains to be seen, but uh, we have seen strange things. And a lot of stranger things in <laughs> in season 100. Uh, I, I can't add to your reference yeah. because uh, I don't watch that one. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Barba. Oh! San Sebastian forcing an eight second violation. Oh, abuse galing sa timeout. Hirap nun. Importante to, ha, na masustain yung, yung run dito ng San Sebastian. Kasi tatlong sunod na stop to. DJ. Ayan, ito yung mga antabayan na natin ng ton. Kasi pag umaatak itong baste, 5 minutes 42, Ay, siya, malayo pa ito eh. Hindi ito finishing touch eh. Ito kailangan tataganan mo pa ng tataganan itong San Sebastian. Kasi character nila is they want to increase possessions, they want to increase the tempo. At aatakihin ka nila ng aatakihin. On their part, pag nakuha nila yung penalty ng maaga, pabor para sa kanila yun. Felebrico sinks the first free throw. Golden Stags just won't go away. Two for two para kay TJ. So here we go. Kumakatok na naman dito ang uh, baste. Tsaka mas mahabang oras pa to. And another steal. TJ kicks it out. Maliwat. Extra pass. Gabat. To Pascual. Aguilar on the move. Maliwan all day! Too strong. Missed opportunity right there. Pero good stuff. Nagmamadali dito ngayon ng LPU. Villegas. Apat na sunod na turnover na to, ha? Barba. From way, way out. Short. Low percentage basketball ang nilalaro ng LPU the past. Oh, since the start of the fourth quarter, ha? Pelebrico! Here comes San Sebastian! The lead is down to eight. Venegas. Sidestep. And that's a new career high for Mr. Renz Villegas. Kung ako si Coach Gilbert Malabana, gusto ko hawak ni Renz Villegas yung possessions ko ng fourth quarter. As we see this three-point shot by... Pele Brico. On the flip side naman, kasi ang ganda na nilalaro ni uh, Villegas and he earned that. Na, pahawak ko sa kanyang bola, bayaan mo siya mag-control ng tempo silang dalawa ni Kunanan. On the flip side, gusto mahawak ni Nico Aguilar kasi he creates eh. And he's a better decision maker. He's the, their best decision maker right now, percentage-wise. Kaya niya swing yung bola, kaya niya mag-create ng shots for his teammates. A 25 piece for Renz Villegas. Timeout, San Sebastian. The road to the Final Four is about to get even more dangerous as teams are now fighting for survival. So, before we move forward, let's take a look back at the amazing exploits of our hardcore heroes here in our Week in Review. Last October 11. It's another Wow. Side step on the way. A sluggish Letran Knights team opened their second round campaign with a shocking 91-68 loss to LPU. After that game, the 
CAC overcame a 24-point deficit. Can have another 12-0 run in them because that's what they used to snatch the game away from LPU when they first met in the first round of this tournament. Kailangan din natin ang tabayanan dito. 6 to 1. Yan ang uh, turnover story natin ngayon in the fourth quarter. Limang sunod para rito sa LPU prior to that mid layup ni Renz Villega. So, limang sunod. Maliwan. Intercepted by Kunanan. Barba says, let's slow it down and milk the clock. Yan, itong gusto mo. Hawak ni Villegas yung bola. Wala pa sa penalty. Siyempre, ganun yan eh. Pagka-coach ka, sini may hat hand, sini maganda nilalaro, sino yung maganda yung mga decision. O kaya ako dun sa Villegas, meron akong Peña Fiel na dumidepensa, tsaka Barba. This game, hot hands, yung tatlo. And the other guys will just fill in. 25 points for Villegas. Guadagna pops out, step back, that's his shot. Just short for Mack. Kunana gets it to Versosa. Versosa looking for a friend. Binigin ni Mack ang bola. Ngayon naman, humingin siya ng screen. Mack finds Renz. Renz. Oh! Dribbles off of his own foot. Hirap yun. Ganda rin ang depensa sa harapan niya. And, uh... Point of attack getting blocked right there. Talking about DJ Pelebrico moving his feet. Actually, may angle siya to go downhill. So that's seven turnovers para sa kukunan ng LPU. Aso, tinurnover din dito ng San Sebastian. That light at the end of the tunnel is slowly disappearing for San Sebastian. Penalty dito. San Sebastian started the season shocking the NCAA world. Two straight wins against Letran and LPU. And, and then, then what followed? followed was eight straight losses. Uh -huh. Kaya talaga. And set close. And yung mga talo nila sa dulo nagkakatalo. One possession. Wala namang kaanong uh, tampakan talaga na laban. Aguilar. Gunners on the floor. Gabat. Creating space. And that's another foul. That's going to be two free throws for Mac Guadagna. Yep, haba tayo dito ngayon dahil penalty na. Ang kopona ng San Sebastian. Seventy-eight, sixty-six. LPU, as I mentioned earlier, has not tasted victory. Since October 15, Coach Gilbert Malabanan sitting, pondering his next move as they try to make a late push for the Final Four. Everything is still on the table. Controlado pa rin nila yung kanilang uh, remaining games. And as long as they snap that three-game losing streak, they would be uh, back in business. Pero meron pa rin uh, hit it si Paeng Are with his second field goal of the game. 
LPU has been in the final four in the past two seasons. This is the fourth season of Coach Gilbert Malabanan as the head coach. Three point play completed by Arek. Villegas. Kunanan wisely milking the clock. Kunanan to Barba. Barba, short, Guadagna, look at him go to work. Little things, again, Maclod Guadagna crashing the boards. I think that's his fourth rebound, fourth or fifth? Seventh, actually. Oh, seven rebounds for Maclod Guadagna, big numbers. Yan, Offensively, hindi mo gaano naramdaman ngayon si Maclod. Paambon ambon yung mga touches niya because uh, understandably Villegas and uh, etong si uh, Barba had a good third quarter and uh, whole game para kay Villegas but Guadagna doing the little things rebounding Montano drains the free throw. Eighty-two sixty-nine. Two minutes and thirty seconds to go. Nothing official yet. Are with a hail mary. An answered prayer. Yep. Parang hanggang glorious mysteries mabubunot dito ng San Sebastian if they want another miracle here. Barba is fouled by Are. Wise move by Ato Barba. Just recognizing the mismatch. Tibay talaga ng dip-dip. And then Ato Barba knowing that he had the size advantage uh -huh. in the post. Smart, smart player. Uy, bati ako. Happy birthday sa ating former NCAA Mythical 5 member, former uh, NCAA Most Improved player, Arjun Cordero, who is now uh, in California as a uh, renal care nurse. Happy birthday, Joe. And uh, kay Coach uh, Arvin Braganza. Coach Arvin, na magandang hapon sa'yo. Enjoying the action. Respect. Oh. Na naalala mo pa yung mga pinuto sa'yo ni Coach Arvin? <laughs> Relax ka lang dyan. <laughs> Relax ka lang dyan. <laughs> 84-72. Are. Escobedo wide open. And Escobedo. Wow, San Sebastian just okay. won't go away. Di yan ihinto. Di yan ihinto. Hanggat may oras, gagawa ng paraan yan. Oop. May foul lang nga dito. Tawagan ni ating uh, crew chief, uh, Ref Totti Celeste. So that's a no. Grabe yung mga binibitawan nito na haymakers sa dulo ng San Sebastian. So crucial dito ngayon, free throw shooting. Ahaba tayo kasi. If a force ng San Sebastian ang more possessions, LPU has taken 32 free throw attempts. They've made 75% of them. And that percentage will go down a little bit after that miss by Montano. In contrast to that, San Sebastian, 14 free throw attempts, but they only missed one. Karon talaga. Maraming laro ngayong NCAA season ng naipanalo at uh, nawala sa kamay ng panalo dahil sa free throws. So, penalty. Paborto sa San Sebastian. Matatandaan natin ganyan yung nangyari. Ah. Maraming foul sa endgame. Ang LPU against San Sebastian in the first round. 
Kaya nakapatay yung oras. Ang uh, problema lang dito, mintis yung una, pero... May pagkakataon pa to make up for it. So that was only the second miss from the line by San Sebastian. Oh, and it misses both. Ouch. And a double black eye as Barba goes all the way to the cup for the deuce. And the bonus coming right up. Barba sinks the free throw. Barba with 18 points. You 18 points ni Barba para mga body punches eh. Oh, nakakawala ng hangin. Okay, binubudega ka eh. Ano ka pala? Rupa dope ha? Oh, sige. <laughs> Busing ko yung hangin mo sa mga tama. <laughs> Pagkatapos na nararamdaman eh. No. Pagtingin mo sa stat sheet, doon mo lang Daming nararamdaman. Daming mo daan. Eh. ang hirap huminga pagkatapos nun. <laughs> Pagka pa na yung body shot yung tinatamaan sa'yo. Barba. Uh, Barba's just trying to draw a foul here. <laughs> That's exactly what the memo is for the entire LPU squad. Pasabit. On the pasabit lang, pasabit. You know, binabangga lang ni Ato eh. Ayan. Nakita cycling shorts. Doon sa shot take na yun. <laughs> Talaga taas ka may wall up lang. Kaya ganyan. A whopping. 35 free throw attempts for LPU. 36 after that miss. But they've made 26 out of 36. So they'll take that. Daming uh, makingis na dito. Uh-huh. <laughs> Putting our referees to work, my friend. Okay, ano nga, <laughs> nagdadasal nga kanina eh. Saktong-sakto yan. Let me make you become fishers of me. Sabi yun sa Biblia nung weekend eh. Pasabit talaga. Eh. <laughs> Daming no-hood. Pero di gulong. Bawal lang. <laughs> Eight points for Paeng Are in his return to action after a one-game absence due to a sore right knee. Ten points for Paeng. Konana. And the free throws will continue to come for the LPU Pirates. Importante yan talaga, Anton. Ako, I'm now very adamant about my players taking their extra free throw shots with the way things are happening in the world of basketball. Every free throw counts talaga eh. Since Panahon pa yata ni James Tates yung importante na yung free throws na yan. Kasi libre nga, kaya nga free throw. Eh. Pare, eh. LPU is averaging 23.4 free throw attempts per game. Today, naka-39 attempts. Eh. Yep, almost doubling their free throw attempts. Lumalaban pa rin. Guadagna milking the clock and a lot of contact there. Barba sidestep. Icing on the cake. 
And finally, San Sebastian, let's go off the rope. LPU on the verge of ending their three-game losing skid. Oh, see, Nico Aguilar, sneaky, sneaky. Well, you know what they say, play until the final buzzer. Aguilar pulls up. 93-85. And Guadagna just tosses it to the other side. Titira pa si Paen. And it is now official. Coach Gilbert Malabana and the LPU Pirates end their three-game losing skid. And they notch their first win since that October 15 victory against the defending champions. Great win by LPU being able to control uh, this game and being a tough team and uh, virtually eliminating the Golden Stags in the Final Four contention. So there you go, Coach Gilbert Malabanan. It's been a rough past three games for him and his ball club. But they now get back to the win column to improve their record to seven and eight.